Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do an unboxing. This is a, a pan that I got for a friend of mine who I've just converted to cast iron. This is his first pan and I'm going to season it for him so he's, he's good to go straight away. As I mentioned in the other video, an ideal entry level of cast iron uh, skillet is to get the 25cm uh, 10 inch Von Chef cast iron pan from Amazon. These are priced at £20 with free delivery. So I've already got one so I know what to expect but I just thought to do an unboxing of a brand new one and I'm also going to show you how to season it for the first time um, for anybody that's a bit still a bit sketchy about the cast iron so let's go let's see what's in I've already got one of these so I know what to expect um, but I do have my own delivery coming sometime soon of some pans one of which will be a, 20, uh, a 10 inch skillet like this one new stuff uh, that's the the one chef that like says a link in the description on my previous video to the uh, this exact pan so nice clean gray <laughs> um, a bit of a comparison to mine as you can see quite a bit difference in the colouring um, this one like I say I've had it for about two months now and I batter it I've had it for um, I cook on it every day it's been absolutely battered that it's been brilliant there's a little side note I've got these bad boys today and claws for grabbing meat, your chicken from your cast iron Dutch ovens, um, pulled pork, salad, no, but yeah, they're pretty cool, I've not used them yet so I can't give you a comprehensive review of them but from the back they look pretty cool don't they, so like I said this is the 10 inch Von Chef, quite sturdy, um, compared to the lodge, there's really not much difference. Um, and to say it's half the price of the lodge stuff, to give you an idea of the weight of it, obviously we're on zero. This is two kilograms, yeah. So, two kilos, what's that? 4.4, 4.5 4 pounds. Man, that's right. So yeah, so that's your pan. Beer break. So like I said, this is the brand new pan. Um, not washed it, not done anything with it. But the tip that I got from the websites is for the the, the one and only time that you use soap and uh, a Brillo pad or steel wool or a scourer um, is now. So what I'm going to do is run my tap, which is, this water is very hot because it's, um, like I said, my auger runs my hot water, so you can imagine how hot my, my water gets. Scour it. And what I'm going to do is give it a right good scrub. Yeah, what some people do is actually take a sander or the um, a drill with um, a stripping wheel on or even an angle grinder with uh, 
put some sandpaper on it, you know, the discs, sanding discs. And I've actually done that with a couple of mine just to see the difference. Um, but because this isn't mine, um, I don't want to do that. And it is a bit, you're a bit hesitant when you spend 50 quid on a pan, on the lodge pans, to take a drill to them. It's a bit, um, but yeah, this is so-called the, the only way really to do it properly. They do, they do come pre-seasoned, but this is what many, many YouTube videos do say. A bit of muck that's come off there. Oh. So that is nice and clean and so once we've done this we'll transfer it over to the auger for drying out purposes so we'll just put this on there and this I haven't I'm not going to speed the camera up or anything but this is how hot my uh, my auger gets look at that evaporating so quickly I'm not speeding this up this plate here um, like I say I can't measure it because my temperature gauge maxes out but online it's saying that they're not far off 626 degrees Fahrenheit and you can see how hot these things get just by drying this out so quickly for my uh, seasoning I use something called Trex which is um, a shortening which I dare say is the same thing as the uh, Crisco that you guys in America have so all I do is block that with a little sponge um, put a little bit on um, and what I'll do is I'll literally give the whole pan a coating, a thin, thin coating with this sponge um, and then once it's all completely covered I'll put it in the auger for an hour, two hours, whatever I want. Like I say, it's not costing me anything because my auger's on 24-7 so I can put it in and just whatever, go watch a film or something and then come back to it. But that's my plan. So if I show you... So you can see how, how grey the pan is now, it should be nice and warm, a uh, little bit of I'll just give this a, a good wipe. People say um, to use a paper towel to dry off any excess um, seasoning or fat, whatever you want to use it seasoning with. But then other people say that you shouldn't use anything um, like paper towels or anything like that because the paper can actually come off and get embedded into the cast iron. Um, there's a, a fabulous uh, YouTube channel with Kent Rollins. I'll put a link into the description to his channel. Um, and he basically, his rule of thumb is, he doesn't put anything into the cast iron skillets that he wouldn't put into his mouth, which... It's fair enough, isn't it? I won't put paper towel in my mouth. I won't put this in my mouth, but at least I know these aren't going to come off. It's not going to break apart while I'm I'm seasoning this. So this is all coated now. Nicely coated. It's got a, a nice thin layer of shortening all over it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it in my auger. So let's just put this into there um, it, oh my gauge is in there you can see how hot that is in there is that two, 225 uh, that's is that celsius will be on it that's hot so we're going to pop this in um, upside down and we'll put that in there and we'll leave it in for an hour and let's see what happens Right, it's been about an hour now. Let's see how we go. Oh, look at that. You can 
you see the difference it's uh, I'm hoping this camera can pick it up a bit it's it's more of a sort of a bronzy color got a bit of a copperish tint to it uh, but that's only one go so I'm going to season this um, I'll give it another do and then I'm going to leave it in overnight give it another do in the morning um, and see how it goes but that's about it that's all you need to do um, just an hour just give it a rub with like I say some Trex, Crisco, olive oil um, I personally think that you're better off using something that's a solid at sort of room temperature um, rather than your your uh, your your olive oil. Um, I say I've never, I've never had problems with it, but this looks pretty good. Uh, probably give it another two or three more coats, and then I'll uh, I'll use it to fry some bacon. And they reckon that's the best thing to do is fry some bacon and then just give it a wipe over with the bacon fat and then other than that just keep using it um, I'll give it to my friend and just basically just tell him to never wash it uh, with soapy water um, and always make sure you you, you give it a, a thin layer of, of oil after you've used it and you've rinsed it out in really really hot water Make sure the pan is warm at least, um, or as hot as what you know, or, or very very warm. Let's say um, under a really hot tap, clean it, um, dry it out properly, and then give it a, um, a light coating with um, again the Trex or you can use olive oil just for um, giving it a, a coat before you know you're using it for for next time but you just build up the seasoning all with every use but that's it really it's 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 not hard uh, and I'm hoping that when I give this to my friend he's gonna get many many years um, use out of it and I hope that he comes back and he says Do you know what I'm converted fully I want to get the rest of the different sizes and eventually get the lodge stuff so that's that's it um thanks for watching and i'll see you later